Hello, my loves. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com. Coming back at ya for another moment of chronic wellness. I am talking to you about self-love. It is of critical importance that all of us find our way home to this essential piece of wellness. And I do not say that lightly. I really believe that self-love can be a key that unlocks so many doors to healing, health, wholeness, wellness, and just greater peace and happiness in our lives. And I also do not kid myself about how many of us were subjected to trauma, were not attached to as little ones, were not attuned to, did not have our self-affirmed, did not have our life lifted up and told that we were worth loving. And so I don't pretend that this is an easy journey for many, 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 many of us out there. And as we come into adulthood, this work becomes ours to do. No one can or will do it for us. And so find a good therapist, evict the friends that do not support you in this work and begin the work on your own. And one of the things that feels incredibly corny and stilted, but is kind of a fake it till you make it um, behavior that so much research supports as being a really wonderful way to start cultivating self-love is affirmations. So affirmations are short, repeatable phrases that burrow their way into your psyche and start to be things that you believe about yourself. Uh, it is helpful to have affirmations written down in your own handwriting and placed in places that you will see them regularly. So oftentimes people will put this on the mirror in their bathroom. So when you're brushing your teeth twice a day, doing your hair, doing your makeup, you will see the affirmation and it will be a reminder. Another great place is to put it on the ceiling above your bed. So when you first wake up in the morning, you see it there. Maybe inside your closet door. So as you're pulling out your clothes and getting dressed, you might see it there. On your visor in your car. So when you flip it down, you might see it there. On the border of your computer screen. So when you're there, you see it there any place that you regularly look on the window next above your sink. So when you're doing dishes, you're seeing it there. And affirmations can be almost anything. And if you Google affirmations, you will find a plethora of resources. But what's most important, what is most important is that they scratch your particular itch, that they feel like a balm to your spirit that when you read them or see them you think that is the message i need and so an example of an affirmation might be brene's brown brene brown's i'm imperfect and i'm enough or whether or not i'm healthy i can be well or i am not this illness i am this wholeness or I am enough. The, they can be short, they can be longer. What's most important is that they meet a need inside you. The, it might be the thing that you wish somebody would hold you close and stroke your hair and say to you. That might be the affirmation that unlocks within you the barriers that keep you from self-love. The ugly things that you say to yourself, this is the antidote. This is the thing that meets that need and helps remind you of who you really are, your true self, your whole self, the perfect you inside of you. And so repeating these 
as stilted and ridiculous as it feels. I'm imperfect and I'm enough. I'm imperfect and I'm enough. I'm imperfect and I'm enough. You keep saying it because eventually saying it will become second nature. And when saying it becomes second nature, it can start to work down into the places that don't really believe it to the point that then eventually you can believe it and it will become truth. And then it will become your truth. And as it becomes your truth, it can become the foundation upon which you can evict some pieces of self-loathing and own pieces of self-worth and the building blocks of self-love. What are your affirmations? Do you already say them? Do you have some go-to mantras? I'd love to know. Thank you for being here. And until we're together again, I hope that you can find ways to grow and cultivate self-love and worthiness. Be well.